take this opportunity once again to welcome you to Shanda KG online service on the 17th of May 2020. By grace of God, we are able to bring God's word to you wherever you are listening, wherever you are able to also watch us. It is my prayer that the Lord will bless you on our subject, continuing in fellowship part two. Allow me to pray, then we begin by the reading of God's word. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to bring your word to your people. I pray for everyone who will be able to listen to this voice and to your word. My prayer is, Lord, you touch their lives and transform them. And that each one will be stirred into continuing to fellowship. That, Lord, we will have the eager to meet together to fellowship for this is the command you've given unto us i bless everyone watching and i bless lord that even whoever will listen even after we've, we we done on the on the 17th lord this message will continue to bless their hearts i pray this in jesus name amen our text is from the book of acts chapter number 16 looking at verse 25 through 28 acts of the apostles Chapter 16, verse number 25 through 28. The scripture says in Acts 16, verse 25, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Verse 26, Certainly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking from the sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called out in a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. The Lord bless you for his word. Now you realize the scripture we are reading today, Acts 16, verse 25 through 28, speaks to us of men of God, Paul and Silas, who would have had an excuse of continuing to fellowship. And so the subtitle of my message is Continuing to Fellowship Even When the Doors Are Closed. In closed doors, friends, the scripture talks of men of God who went out. Circumstances around them could not allow them to fellowship. But they remember the scripture in Matthew that says, Where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there in their midst. And so they, 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 the scripture says that they began singing. They sang songs to the Lord. I don't want you to forget that these two men of God had other prisoners with them. And the scripture describes what the others were doing. They were listening to them. Some translation, they were watching them. But remember, as they were listening, these ones, as they were watching, Paul and Silas began to say, it is a time for us to fellowship. And so they began singing hymns to the Lord. They began praying. When they lifted up their voices and began to sing, then we see the outcome. But let me embark to worship and to continue fellowshipping even when the doors are closed. Friends, fellowship is the key to the breakthrough of every believer. And last Sunday, I mentioned the benefits of fellowshipping, why you should fellowship. And I mentioned several of them. Let me remind you that the devil will always want you not to fellowship. So anything that he can do to prohibit you from fellowshipping, he will do it. Because he knows the benefit of brethren coming together. Jesus himself said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. 
So you would want you to be in a place where God does not allow you to come into fellowship with him. So that's why I want to encourage you again on this particular day, the 17th of May. Continue in fellowship even when the doors are closed. The church doors are closed as we are speaking right now. But it is my prayer they will be opened very soon. But even when they are closed, we want to speak to the devil that he cannot close our hearts from worshipping, from fellowshipping. We cannot take the excuse that the fact that we are not in church for not to fellowship. We will fellowship anyhow. And the devil must hear that. There is no substitute, and you must hear that, of God's people gathering in it to himself. We can't substitute that with anything. The desire of the Lord is that he gathers his people for himself. And so when we come together for him, he will be available for us. In Psalms 91, verse number 3, the scripture talks of what happens when we come together. And the devil would make sure that you don't benefit from verse number 3 of Psalms 91. So the, the, the reason why the devil would make sure you don't fellowship is because he knows when you come together, the Lord rebukes the devourer, he commands a blessing, and he ensures that you are safe. And the blessings that are mentioned in verse 3, you miss them because you have broken the fellowship. I encourage you to continue fellowshipping. Stop the noises of the enemy that would want to threaten you from fellowshipping. Do not allow him. The scripture says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 46, we read last, last Sunday, they continued in fellowship in the temple. And from house to house, breaking bread, and they ate with gladness. My prayer for you is you continue in fellowship. And don't miss it out, even if the doors are closed. It is ordained by God. Throughout the world, the church will flourish. The church will, it will grow. The church will have energy. The church will have power through fellowship. There is no other other, other method the Lord has allowed us to thrive through, except through fellowship. So, to, to, through fellowship, we, we thrive. The church nourishes. The church grows. The church is moving from one step to another. And you remember last Sunday I told you, when you fellowship, you grow from strength to strength. So when the enemy is making you not to fellowship, what he's doing is, he wants you, instead of growing from strength to strength, he wants you to grow from weakness to weakness. We are not meant to be weak. We are not among them that feeble and, and are destroyed. May the Lord give you strength to stand even when the doors are closed. Be strong even when the doors are closed and continue fellowshipping. For the Spirit of the Lord is there when we call upon Him. You will find people, when they are not fellowshipping, they grow weak. You will find people, when they are not fellowshipping, they draw demons. Demons, they easily come in because the Word of God is not spoken into their lives. And so, powers of darkness, principalities and forces of the, of the dark world, they have power over them. But when you fellowship, you, you break the chains. You lose the powers of darkness. You have breakthrough in the spiritual realm because of fellowship. When you call on the name of the Lord, what does the scripture say? The Lord dwells in the presence of his people. He dwells in the praises of his people. And that's why when we're reading in Acts chapter number 16, that when they started worshiping God in praise, the Lord came down. And you cannot praise the Lord and you allow him not to be in your presence. He will be in your midst. In Isaiah 25 and verse 6 through 8, if you get time, you look at it. The scripture is also clear, talking to us about God dwelling in our midst. Now remember, every moment the enemy wants to attack believers, it is not the person he is using, it is the demon themselves. Look at the times of of uh, Exodus, when God was to deliver the children of Israel, the scripture says in the book of Exodus 12 that the Lord was hungry, angry with the demons of Egypt. 
The demons of Egypt are the ones that caused Pharaoh to be so hard on the children of Israel to suppress them. It was not Pharaoh himself, but the powers of darkness and demons, they caused him to behave the way he is behaving. And so I challenge you, whoever is listening to me, that whatever we are going through, it is not whosoever is being used. This is the powers of darkness and we must arise. We must be aware of the schemes of the devil. That is the scripture. We must be aware of the schemes of the devil. The intention is that we should not fellowship. And so I challenge you. Listen to Hebrews 3 and verse 13. But exalt one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceit deceitfulness of sin. What does that mean? We continue in fellowship daily. And when we do, we exalt one another. When we are continuing in fellowship, even when the doors are closed, what are we doing? We are breaking that hardness of sin. We are breaking that hardness of the devil. We are lightening what the devil would have made so hard. And so I pray that you will listen and understand that fellowship makes the powers of darkness weak and they make you strong. Keep fellowshipping, my brother. Some of you have done driving. When you take driving course and you stay for a number of days without doing exercise, you forget what you learned. Be it driving, be it your IT, whatever you do, you must put it in practice. So when we come to fellowship, we are telling God we are in exercise of what we have read. We are in exercise of what you have spoken in our lives. And so we become active as we fellowship. Matthew 18, 20 is a scripture I've been quoting all along. Where two or three are gathered in my name, the Lord says, I am there in their midst. We continue fellowshipping to bring his presence in our midst. So if you can tell me for free, if you've not been in fellowship for three months, if you've not in fellowship for three weeks, if you've not in fellowship for three days, my brother, the presence of the Lord is not in your midst. Check out and look at yourself. See the words you speak. See the kind of thing that you are thinking right now. I pray you get into fellowship. For by that, you bring the presence of the Lord in your midst. The scripture we have read, Acts chapter number 16. Apostle Paul and Timothy and Silas, they are in the presence of the Lord. They have been accused, Silas and Paul have been accused for having spoken to the girl with an evil spirit, the spirit of divination. They are taken to the magistrate and straight away the, the magistrate has given that they be prisoned and security be tightened. And so these guys are not just in prison. Chains are on their hands. The security is so tight. But look at what the scripture says. In the midnight, verse 25, they began praising the Lord. They began fellowship. You and me, we are not in chains. We are free. You are in your house with your children. You better begin praising the Lord. The scripture says they began singing hymns to God. And when they did, the scripture says immediately, suddenly, because God dwells in the praises of his people. The devil wouldn't want you to become free. He would want you to become bound every moment. That's why I'm speaking to you this morning. By the grace of God, we must continue in fellowship even if the doors are closed. Sing a song of praise. Let the Lord come in your midst and you see a breakthrough. You see yourself getting lighter. Even that hard, that is so hard. Moe wako umekua mzito. Kwa sababu ya mambo mabzito unawe ya pitia. Rusu katika kusifu mungu moe wako uwe mepesi. Yawe ni machungu ya maumivu ya moyo. Yawe ni maumivu ya mwili. Chetani ya nakuzui ya usinimbe. Nakusii kwa jina la Yesu 
get out and start praising the Lord. Get a friend, get the two of you just singing. These people were only but two. They were not three. There was no keyboard there. There was no guitar. There was no someone to do a backup. Their backup team was not there. They were two. One of them was a soloist and the other one was backing up. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you and we will be able to start into worship. We will get into fellowship. I challenge every Christian listening to me. Do not forfeit to meet together and have fellowship. It is biblical to have fellowship. This is the only way for us to bring the kingdom of the devil down and to lose our chains, to break the chains, to have our doors open that have been closed in Jesus name kila mlango uliyofungwa na nguvu za giza ifunguke kwa jina la Yesu kwa sababu ya nguvu za ushirika we unapofanya ushirika nyumbani kwako na yule mwingine anafanya katika nyumba yake the chains are loosed and we very soon and very soon the doors shall be open we will be free in Jesus name we'll hear an announcement coming we are now free to go to the house of the Lord. Because Acts chapter 2 verse 46 must continue to be read. They continue together in fellowship in the temple and from house to house. So in Jesus' name, kama umekosa ushirika mwezi mzima, wane, you have not attended and you've not listened to God's word. I challenge you right now, arise on your feet. The devil is after you. He, the chains are just on your hands, but they can be broken today as we continue in fellowship. I challenge you to fellowship as you continue in fellowship, the Lord bless you and keep you. I read you Psalms 132, verses 13 through 15. Listen to the word of the Lord. For the Lord has chosen Zion, and I say last Sunday, the place of Zion put the church. He has desired it to be a dwelling place. Verse 14, this is my resting place. Zion, who is the church. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. Verse 15, I will ab abundantly bless her provisions. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Now, this is something you cannot miss out. And this is, should stir you from fellowship. When you are not in fellowship, your provisions are not met. The Lord doesn't bless the bread for the poor. But as you continue to fellowship, the scripture says, I will abundantly bless their provision. I will satisfy her poor. May the Lord satisfy you in Jesus' name. Hata kama mnakutana watu wa wili, may the Lord provide for you. May the Lord satisfy you. May the Lord meet you at your point of need just because you sacrifice 30 minutes of meeting, one hour of meeting in Jesus' name. I pray there will be bread on your table. There will be money in your pocket. The Lord shall heal your sicknesses because of fellowship in Jesus' name. Let Psalms 32 come through to you. May the Lord pass through you and bless your life. This morning I challenge you, let's continue in fellowship. If you're listening to this word for the first time and things have not been working for you, I want to welcome you right now in the presence of the Lord to say to yourself, I will make up my decision that throughout my life I will be in fellowship and that you will not lack a testimony every single moment. May the Lord do to you what he did to Paul and Silas in Jesus' name. Believe whatever you are as I pray for you. Father, I pray that everyone who is listening to this message will arise and have a desire to continue in fellowship. Let their lives be changed, O oh God, throughout and every moment. May their strength be renewed. Let them move from step to step. They will not grow weak, they will grow strong. They will overcome the devil because, Lord, you love them. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Shalom. We'll see you again. And looking forward again to meet you in the temple of the house in Mount Zion. God bless you.